<laughs> Baby, let me love you down. I'm gonna show you how much I love you with my raw vegan corn chips. I really am. <laughs> Hey, hey, what you say? Welcome to the kitchen of love and light. Y'all have to see, can you just get a load of this? Look at these. Understand the crispiness of this, can you? Do y'all see that? What that is, look how beautiful. Are y'all getting a good look at that? Is, is the lighting good on these things? And this one later I'm going to make into like a tostada with lots of goodies on top. And I'm fixing to come up with a raw vegan all natural mustard. Look at that. Y'all, these are impressive. Look. Okay, this is the easiest recipe. This will probably work if you have a smaller and cheaper style dehydrator other than um, my bad mamma jamma over there, which is the Nine Tray Excalibur. Which, I just sold my old Excalibur, the Fortray, yesterday, which I had had, y'all, for, for way over 10 years. And the lady that bought it, um, her dog had been sick, and he's on a raw diet, and she's doing him some treats and stuff in there. And I thought, how great, and we were instant friends. Isn't it great? And she was from um, Greenville. But let me tell you what's in these. You're going you're gonna to take about 32 ounces of corn, um which is about three-fourths of your Vitamix full, okay? Um, mine was raw. You could probably use frozen that's non-GMO and such, but I would let that thaw out first because it's hard on your blender. Um, if I was going to do this in, in not a Blendtec or Vitamix or really high-speed blender, I would blend smaller batches, okay? So, but it's about 32 ounces. And then you're going to have um, one cup of water and then... So what I did was I blended that, okay? I started on low and blended until it was a smooth batter. It looked like cake batter, okay? And then I took one medium size um, sweet Vidalia onion. And what I did was I cut off, of course, the skin, cut it in about eighths, and I put it in there, and I pulsed. And that way, do you see how these have like the little onion? They have a nice texture to them. Do y'all see that? Look. It's kind of getting a lot of light on there, but anyway, these are very crispy and, and delicious. You can see, see good in this. But then pretty much, you're going to just pulse that. The less blending you do with the onion in there, obviously, the more chunky the onion is going to be. You could blend it totally up. You could, at this point, put in any seasonings you want. I put in nothing, and these are slamming good. I don't even know how to tell you how good they are. Um, but what I did was on my Teflex sheets, or you can use parchment paper, I took about two heaping tablespoons of the batter, put it on there, and then I took my, um, my little Vitamix spatula, can I kind of just flattened it down and smoothed it out. This one that you're seeing that's a really good consist, um, thickness, this was at least a quarter of an inch thick all the way across. If you make them too thin, then they come out, um, more like very small thin chips you know like pringles where these are more like you would think of your traditional like a tortilla chip so but um these are just as tasty just a little thinner and i'm going to want to put some things on that so see i really like when they come out like nice and thick you see so anyway i put that on 110 degrees i put it in yesterday about 4 p.m. I left it on all night because they weren't done at night and um, before I went to bed. And when I got up this morning, about 5, they were done. The dehydrating time is going to depend on the humidity in your home. It's going to depend on um, what kind of dehydrator you have. I've even noticed that this larger Excalibur dehydrates quicker than even my Fortrait, and it's the airflow in there. You know, it's got max airflow. So, um, but then basically I didn't even flip them. I didn't have to flip them or anything. And see, it created like a smooth back on there. And this is obviously the front. So there you go. And I just wanted y'all to see that. And I wanted you to see the crunch. Are you ready? And then I'm going to put some other things on this. And I'll maybe come back to y'all. Yes, it's only been four minutes. I'll come back to y'all a little later and show you. But let me... Do y'all hear that? You want to have another bite? Mmm. I could sell these things somewhere. These are so good. 
just enough oniony flavor. They're very sweet and they have a very good taste. If you use Mrs. Dash and those kind of things, you could put about two tablespoons of that into that giant batter and make up all kinds of different um, taste in there. You could put in cayenne pepper. You could put in um, anything. You could put in anything. You could put in a little bitty, any moist ingredients you add, you're going to add to your dehydrating time. Like if you put little bitty diced jalapenos, which I would have loved, but I like it spicy, you know. Mm. Anyway, get your corn, onion, crispy cracker crunch on. See you later, alligators. How come some dogs think they always get to lay on top? Huh? Her hair looks like Phyllis Dillard's. Oh no, it's so hard being you, isn't it? Come here, tell him, Maxie. <laughs> Maxie really chooses the cozy spot right here, don't you? Say, see you later. Alligators. She won't look. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> she has a hard, hard life, doesn't she, Christopher? Yeah. Tell him bye. Bye.